Jump to the rhythm and dance to the music. All in together, let's show how we do it. Jump to the rhythm and dance to the music. All in together, we shine. Jump in. Hey, jump out. Hey, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Oh, turn it around. Welcome back to Ever Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Ever Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about Jump In. Jump In is a 2007 Disney Channel original movie uh, about a boy named Izzy Daniels who feels torn between his father's dream of boxing and his new dream of double dutch tournament with his friends. It is directed by Paul Hohen, cinematography by David A. Macon, editing by Janice Hampton, music by Frank Fitzpatrick, and it's written by Doreen Spicer, Regina Y. Hicks, and Karen Gist. The film stars Corbin Blue as Izzy Daniels, Kiki Palmer as Mary Thomas, and David Reavers as Kenneth Daniels. This was originally supposed to star Raven Simone and uh, be called Double Dutch and just center around her in general, but she had a conflict and so they just reworked the entire thing to center around Corbin Blue. Uh, there was heavy, heavy, heavy marketing about the fact that he was in High School Musical, which is the part I remember. I remember this being like a huge deal because Corbin Blue from High School Musical was in it and starring in it. Um, this did break the Cheetah Girls 2 record for highest decom premiere and then like immediately gets beaten out by High School Musical 2. But with High School Musical 2, that marks Corbin Blue's third number one premiere on Disney Channel. This had some fabulous movement. Fabulous. It does have a little bit of focus issues here and there, but nothing too bad that made me like really upset at it, like read it and weep and their constant focus issues. This didn't feel as like high quality cinematography wise as like High School Musical or anything like that, but it does look great, holds up, movement's stellar. The jump rope at the beginning being part of the song was so good. I loved that. The opening song was also just very good. The whole soundtrack is really good. There was definitely a Drew Seely song somewhere in there. I heard it. And then Jump to the Rhythm, while I know and is iconic to me in my childhood, I hadn't seen the I, I didn't see this movie in full until just now, but I knew Push It to the Limit and Jump to the Rhythm. They were my jams, okay? I loved them. But Jump to the Rhythm, I knew it was in the movie, but I didn't realize how much so it is and how much the song itself is like worked into the score, which I really loved actually. Favorite scene in this movie is the fire escape scene. Are there a lot of fire escape scenes? Yes, but the fire escape scene. You'll all know what I'm talking about if you see this movie. There is a parent death. His mother has passed away. The dialogue is mostly trash, especially in the first half, and especially the dad's dialogue. Garbage. Really was taking me out of it at the beginning. It also has major Eddie's Million Dollar Cook-Off vibes, which we know how I feel about that movie. But I will give this kudos. It's not as terrible. It like Eddie's Million Dollar Cook-Off is so sexist for Eddie wanting to cook, and then his dad just makes it so much worse, where this... It's really sexist about him wanting to do double dutch and it's really awful and gross, but his dad isn't like so horribly perpetuating that. His dad just wants him to box and has no idea about the double dutch. So like, and then his reaction is like a little better at least, you know, like, so it really had the potential to be as terrible as Eddie's Million Dollar Cook-Off, which we know how I felt about that. But um, this gave me like, it could have been that kind of vibe and it did like take a turn. So that's, that's good. I love that. Um, but I, this made me realize there are a lot of Disney Channel movies that are like, it's about a girl becoming really good in a boy sport against all odds, or it's about a boy who wants to do a girl sport. Like, I get that the lessons at the end of these things are like, everyone can do whatever they want. Hello, nothing, hello. But uh, it's a little cringe sometimes. Um, not every Disney movie is like that, obviously, but like, at his million dollar cook-off, he wants to cook. High School Musical, he wants to be in a musical. Jump in, he wants to do Double Dutch. And then on the reverse side, you got Motocross, right on track. Like, just saying, I'm just saying. Uh, and then Come On with the Come On uh, m made me laugh. Um, the hug where he hugs the two girls and then they like kind of open up and he goes, room for one more <laughs> for Mary. And then the dad, saying my house my trash literally why are dads like that i can't deal with that what is like screw you i didn't ask you to be born or to live here like what 
Um, I'm dependent on you because you brought me into this world. Absolutely not. Um, the fire escape scene, you guys, is the best written scene, the best action scene, just the best scene in the movie. And she kisses him on the dang mouth, which I did not see coming at all. Y'all should have seen my reaction. She literally did it and I went, <gasps> and I had to like rewind it <laughs> to make sure I was like, she kissed him on the mouth, like not on the cheek, on the mouth. And she did and it was scandalous. And also I was like very excited about it. And then it is a very like predictable, run of the mill, inspiring, Disney Channel original movie, okay? It just is. So, there you go. Corbin is such a baby in this movie, but I wanted to jump into Corbin and Kiki's chemistry in this movie is actually insane. And then they also carry this film. I think their acting is what makes this movie as good as it is. I think this movie would have been trash if they didn't look out with Corbin and Kiki. I truly think this movie could have been so much worse without them in it. I think they are the reason the movie is as successful as it is. The movie is as good as it is, period. Their chemistry is insane. Corbin's reactions to you're afraid your boys are gonna laugh at you and his reactions to already forgotten and his reactions to when the pictures came out of him doing double dutch, so good. Corbin was really doing the whole like reacting where you just like actually react to stuff. Oh my gosh, amazing. The weakest actor in this for me is Corbin's dad. And I believe that he is actually Corbin Blue's dad. Like I'm pretty sure that's his real dad from what I remember. And I feel like he was not great, which, sorry. I do think the audio and ADR are kind of atrocious in this movie. The voices, like the level of dialogue and everything is all over the place because I mean, they're out in real places, I'm sure. But then the ADR is just so blatant <laughs> and bad. So I do think the audio is the weaker, ha weaker part of this movie. Favorite part, fire escape. You should have seen that coming. Least favorite part, my house, my trash. Oh, the worst. Recommend? Yeah, totally. Would I watch it again? Uh, sure. Probably not like just out of me being like, you know what I want to watch? Jump in. But like, you know, again, one of those scenarios where like if someone asked me, I'd be like, yeah, who doesn't like Corbin Blue? Or if I was doing like a whole Disney Channel original movie watch on YouTube or something with you guys. I don't know. Um, specific moments. The one girl leaving at the beginning? So rude. Oh my gosh. Uh, and then dad jumping at the end was very sweet and cute. I loved that. This is good. I think it's stronger toward like the last, you know, quarter. I think that's where it kind of like really finds its feet and I, get, I stopped like noticing dialogue problems and noticing all that kind of stuff. I just kind of was like in for it by then. After the fire escape scene, pretty much is when I was like, look up. <laughs> um, but the first half is rough dialogue wise. So it's, uh, I love Corbin and Kiki. I feel like Disney didn't utilize Kiki enough, which is just so atrocious because Kiki Palmer is literally incredible. I don't know who this man is. <laughs> she's so fun. I love her so much and she's very, very talented and so is Corbin. So that uh, would be it. That's everything I have for Jump In. My final rating is six jump ropes out of 10. Our total movie count is, our parent death toll is, my <laughs> count is still the same. If you wanna keep up with the movie I'm watching when, follow me on Instagram or Twitter, you'll find out what movie I'm watching when I put out videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Join Patreon. I have a tier starting at just $1 where you get every video a week early, a coupon code for merch. Tiers above that, you got daily trivia bonus content, merch, coupon codes, all of it, okay? Go check it out. Buy merch. Parent death toll, I haven't whipped this one out in a while. Until next time, comment, like, subscribe, it. I'm not in charge of your life, you are, so you do, you, and don't be the Dutch dragons or whatever they were called about it, they were rude. <laughs>